Hi, PlayShare family. My name is Rochelle Orlemans Pierce, and I am just unloading a kiln, so I thought I would share with you guys what I fired the last couple of days, and this is my first video for uh, kiln unloading. So I thought that I would share with some of my favorite people in the whole world. So let's get started. I experimented with some darting from a couple of Jessica's classes. And so this is on Plainsman M370 clay. I'm located in Alberta, Canada. And with some underglaze wiped back to give a nice little rainbow floral design. Experimenting with a few different textures again with lots of different underglaze colors wiped back and just a nice crisp white on the inside. For the sculpture challenge I have some of these adorable little mini succulents and some of these I used underglaze on and this one has a little bit of Mako Flux in the middle to have a little bit of movement with just a clear glaze over top. And a few different color combinations. This guy is Mako's Lime Showers Crystal Glaze. And I just used some speckled clay. So this is again Plainsman M370 that I added some manganese speckles to. have an entire little forest of these guys. This little guy is Amico seaweed all on its own on top. And this one, I believe, is Amico uh, Aurora Green, another one of their crystal glazes. It doesn't really show here because I have poor lighting in the kiln room at our community studio. But tried a couple different green glazes to see what would come out. how this lime showers came out to give lots of depth in the color variations. Very fortunate to have access to this community studio. We've been shut down a couple of times during the COVID pandemic, but right now we're allowed in limited capacity. So very fortunate to have access to the kilns again. Another one of my mini succulents that I added a decal to. Uh, this decal I had used some silk screening and just a black underglaze that I wiped through to put that fun pattern on. I 
have about 30 of these mini succulents. And this is the last one that I'll show, again with some underglaze, a little bit of Mako Light Flux, and just clear over top. This is a very small kiln, so now we'll get to the next layer. This is Amico's fire brick with uh, seaweed over top. And I had goofed up. <laughs> this was an experiment with darting after the underglaze decal underneath got really smudged along the seam when I pinched it together. So a little bit is showing through and I actually kind of like that. The part that got really smudged is covered up by these really nice seaweed drips, so that works perfectly. And there's a matching one. Well, nothing in pottery actually matches, as we all know, but complementing colors. Let's go with that. This one I had used some Mako Stroke and Coat for the colors before I bisque fired the piece. And then afterwards I ran over some black underglaze wash to get into the grooves to really highlight those pieces. And again, I've been having a lot of fun experimenting with these darting techniques. And inside just a nice white glaze. Another fun little colorful daisy one with just a single finger spot. The mug had cracked a little bit during drying, but I decided to just cut a little V out of it. So whoever uses this mug will just have to be careful not to fill it higher than that, but it's still completely usable. So when something is drying and it starts to crack, it doesn't necessarily mean that it should go in the trash. Sometimes you can just alter it. So I'm pretty happy with that one. Another example of experimenting with some different underglaze and texture layering techniques. Threw a couple of decals on there. So a lot going on on this mug. and even more going on on this one. Really having fun experimenting with different layering, including textures, decals, and underglaze. And just inside nice and white. A little bowl that has some decals and texture and underglaze wiped back. part of the May challenge. Flowers and something to put flowers in. Another experiment in the world of darting. Cute little vase. And again, underglaze wiped back and then I used a little tool to get the little black dots in the center. And some really nice lace and mixed textures. And the last one is another little vase. Again, with some darting and lace, and this time I went with purple. And just some little daisies on the back. Well, that's the end of my first videoed kiln unloading. Thank you for watching. Happy making.